Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another FGO video. Today we got the new Gouda Gouda Servant. It is a five-star version of Kage Tora. Uh, very excited to have her. I really like her welfare version actually, so I think it's really cool we got a five-star variant of her. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of her. I saw, I think maybe it was her third ascension where like her, I think her color palette gets like swapped. So that her hair is predominantly black with white highlights. I, I don't I don't really remember. Uh, I do remember, though, it looked pretty sick. And I saw her MP, and that also looks really cool. And I she can loop. I don't know if she's a good looper, but uh, she is an arts AoE servant. Sh should be no surprise. They're releasing those like a dime a dozen now. There, there's so many arts AoE servants recently. But yeah, I'm super excited. Let's uh, get right into the roles. I'm going to skip the key to Sean for today because I feel like I've never gotten anything from doing the key to Sean. <laughs> but yeah, I just got off of work. Uh, pretty uneventful day. I, I haven't really talked about my job a lot. So Wednesdays are my busy, well, not busiest, but hardest days. Uh, so I work at like, um, essentially like a private school for teaching English and uh, I teach a wide variety of age groups. It used to be, I, I taught about 50% adults, 50% kids. Uh, recently it's much closer to 80% kids, 20% adults, uh, just cause of some changes we had at the school. But, um... The reason today is uh, my most difficult day is because today is the day I have two preschool classes. So I, I teach like a wide variety, like a very wide variety of uh, ages. My my youngest student being two. My Was that double-sided? No, it wasn't. Okay. My, my youngest student being two and my oldest student being 77. So yeah, very big variety there. Uh, that was a micro stutter. Uh, no, it wasn't. Okay, I'm imagining things. But anyways, um, Wednesdays, I have two preschool classes, and I if, I don't know if you've ever interacted with a preschooler before, but just imagine having to like teach five or six of them at a time. It's not easy. In particular, I ha there are two different age groups. One is three and four year olds. The three and four year olds, um, I love them personally. But as like a teacher, just God help them, please. Uh, but you can't you can't really blame them. They're four. I mean, I remember the way I was when I was four. I probably wasn't a very good student. The the class right above them, it's still preschool. The five six year olds, uh, they're they're pretty fun actually. I like teaching them. Just kind of have to be silly. It amuses them. As long as you're amusing them to some degree, they usually behave pretty well. Uh, but the three of the four-year-olds, they're just chaotic. It's You, you don't know what you're going to get into that day. But yeah, just a, a general rundown on my, my schedule uh, today. I worked an eight-hour shift. The first hour was just a board meeting. Uh, we were just going over sales and stuff. Nothing from that, okay. Just going over sales and stuff like that. And then afterwards, uh, I had seven classes in a row. Uh, minus my lunch break. So first, I have a private lesson with um, a college student. She She's like 20, I want to say. And then immediately after that, I have another private lesson with another college student who is also 20. And then immediately after that class is when I have the three to four year old class. And that, that is just so stressful. Again, I love them individually. Like, I, I love between the lessons, like, talking to the kids. They're, they're very fun, um, very cute. But when you put them all in the classroom together, it's just so stressful. <laughs> uh, and it's kind of what I dread every week is going to that class. But um, well, the good thing is it's kind of it's on my hump day. So it's like once I get finished with that class, uh, I can start looking forward to the weekend. But taught that class, took my lunch. Come back, teach another preschool class to five to six year olds. And then after that, I have an elementary school class. Uh, I believe, what is the age group for that class? Nine and 10. 
And then I have a middle school class with a... I don't remember how old she is. Probably 13. Oh, that skin is nice. Or not skin. Uh, that CE is nice. I've never seen that before. Obviously, I had it, but I, I never noticed it. Normally, I my least favorite age group to teach is uh, middle schoolers because they're really moody. They don't talk a lot. Uh, it's just generally unpleasant to be around. Uh, so some of them are cool, but it, it's difficult talking to them. But this one particular middle schooler, um, she uh, it's only me and her in this class. She doesn't have any classmates. And uh, we, we get along really well. Like, I can tease her and joke around with her the entire class. I, I enjoy teaching her a lot. Um, still nothing, huh? And then immediately after that, I have um, our, like, highest level class. Because once we get into the adult classes... Um, let me back up a bit. With kids' classes, their, their, like, level, the class they're in, is based on their age. Whereas with the, the adult classes, it is based on... Um, like their fluency. So the last class I have is our like top class, basically. So the people I'm talking to are fluent in English. I can just talk to them pretty casually. I don't have to worry too much about how I'm speaking. Because like with a lot of the Japanese people, I have to kind of alter how I talk. Uh, you might notice that if you watch some of my more recent videos, um, it's kind of hard for me to get out of the mindset sometimes. I like space when I'm saying a lot, so I give them a lot of time to process like the individual clauses. And I noticed even when I'm speaking to native English speakers, it's very hard for me to like turn that part of my brain off. Uh, I, I just kind of naturally now want to leave a lot of space between like every clause or sentence fragment I say. But it's nice because the... Uh, that, that class, I don't have to do that. Uh, I can talk pretty normally and they'll understand me. I'm glad I, I took a liking to this CE because I am getting it quite a bit. I would like my Gouda Gouda waifu, please. I'm actually, I'm not expecting to get anything. I don't know what it is with Gouda Gouda banners, but they really do not like me. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to get a, what's her name, Himeka? Himeko? I can't, I can't remember her name. But I've been trying to get her for maybe three years now, and every time I roll for her, I just don't get anything. Um, hopefully, Kagetaro is a little nicer to me. Uh, we are running out of St. Courts, though. Uh, it's not looking like it's going to be a positive outcome here. Um... Anything new on my JP account recently? I, I don't think I've been rolling off camera. Or if I have, I haven't gotten anything. Yeah, nothing in particular. Just using my uh, Summer Fairy Lance a lot, a lot. Uh, really fun using her. Still think she has a really great design. I hope they give more um, welfare servants five stars like they're doing with Kagetoro or Kagetora. Uh, they need to make a, a five star Cha Cha. Put some fucking respect on Cha Cha's name. They don't fuck with Cha Cha. I almost forgot Cha Cha was even a servant. I don't think anyone's actually like unironically mentioned Cha Cha in like half a decade. <laughs> Uh, that, that that being said, I, I do like Cha-Cha. I think she's a cute character, but uh, I would be very surprised if we saw any kind of, I don't know, rehashing of her. There are some other welfares that they can make, like, pretty decent five-star variants off of. I feel like there's quite a few. I just can't really think of any off the top of my head. Uh, even just the servant from this event, the welfare from this event is one of the coolest looking welfares ever. I really like her. I'm kind of sad she's not the five star. Uh, I would have loved a five star version of her. Um, yeah, these rolls are gar garbage, uh, to be honest. I don't know what it is with four stars. If you watched the the last video I posted, the one where I'm rolling for uh, MP3 comma, um, I didn't get any four stars. Uh, we're not getting any four stars here. 
if that's the cost for getting a five star, I, I don't mind that so much. But if I'm just not going to get anything, I, I do kind of mind it a little bit. I spent a fair bit saving up these Saint Courts. It's not that I'm adverse to spending money on this game, it's just while I'm in Japan. Uh, one, my salary isn't that high to begin with. Uh, when, when I do have, you know, income, I, I kind of want to spend it on other things while I'm here. Uh, you know, actually enjoying Japan. Uh, speaking of enjoying Japan, right before this video I had some curry udon. It was very delicious. Uh, I was hoping it would be a good catalyst for the Guda Guda banner, but... Uh, Apparently, this character does not like curry udon. Alright, we're down to the tickets. Uh, I don't... I don't think I have any more in the shop. I think I got this month's tickets already. I'm kind of sad. I wanted her a lot, actually. Her MP's really cool. Uh, even... I take a four-star at this point. Just give me a gold card. <laughs> right, give, give me anything, really. This is kind of tragic. Have we even gotten a five star CE? I don't think we have. Is there a is there is there a five star CE on the banner? Wait, I have to check. There is a five star CE. Uh, if we saw it, I, I we it's possible we got it, and I just wasn't paying attention. I've only really been looking out for servant cards, so it is possible we got it, but uh, I don't recollect having got it. Come on. I've been saving these same quartz for something juicy, so please give me something juicy. Or you could continue giving me nothing. That's cool, too. Come on. Come on. This is it right here. I'm calling it. Come on. Okay, ruler card right here, right here. Okay, no. Well, it's looking like we're going to get a fat load of nothing. Uh... If I'm being frank. Which, I mean, it is, it's okay. It is what it is. Uh, I got lucky with the comma banner on my NA account. I'm getting unlucky with this banner. Uh, unlucky is a generous term. Like, you wouldn't expect to get anything with, what was it, 130 plus 20 tickets. That's like 200 cent quarts worth of rolls. And there's a decent chance you'll get something, but I don't even think that's the drop rate. Uh, the drop rate would be more than 300. And even just the, with the way statistics work, you shouldn't expect to get it with 300. Uh, it's like 500 or something. So, I mean, it's not a surprise. Uh, I can't really be mad about it. A little, a little disappointed, sure. I, I think it's fair to be disappointed in this situation, but I can't be mad. Uh, this is the expected outcome. Uh, hopefully, they don't release anything super cool for New Year's, uh, cause I'm not gonna have much to roll for it with. That being said, they did, they do give us a fair bit of, like, St. Quartz and things like that at New Year's, so I guess I might be okay if they do that. But yeah, I have, I have no idea what they were to release this year, uh, cause what did they release last year? Rasputin? It was Rasputin, right? Yeah, there's no telling. I'm very excited to see what it is, though. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Yeah, of course, there's the um, last roll, I think. Yeah. There's also the... It's a CE. Okay. Hello. There's also the um, the New Year's banners, like rerun banners. I should have saved my St. Quartz. Now I'm thinking about it. Ah, uh, nah. If I had gotten her, it would have been worth it. I think it was worth rolling for this. I just, it's a little unfortunate I didn't get anything. Well, it is what it is, my friends. Uh, if you guys are rolling for her, I wish you the best of luck. And I will see you again in the next one. Later.